right now we're performing a periodic inspection, which happens on a five-year frequency. So we have someone from each discipline, mechanical, structural, electric, and geotech, and we have the whole group come out and do a more thorough inspection of the entire project. My role is to lead the inspection team as we inspect the embankment and downstream tow portions of the project. In addition to the five-year inspections, we also perform annual inspections. During the five-year inspections, we will identify areas that we want to keep an eye on, things we want to observe over time. We have recommendations that come out of those inspections. And those annual inspections are our opportunity to revisit those areas and also to look at progress on our recommendations. The Corps has, as a primary mission, providing flood safety and safety in general for the communities. And we do that through not only the, the management of our releases out of the dams, but also the inspection and understanding of what the risk of, of the dam's operational procedures are. We have a process of continuously inspecting the dams, making modifications, and upgrading the dams when necessary to make sure that they're operating at peak efficiency. And it's, we don't want to find out during flood that there is some component of the dam that is not at its peak performance. We make efforts during when there's non-flood conditions to make sure that all the components of the dam are operating within safety limits. And we have a very rigorous and extensive um, plan for how we evaluate dams during that process. You know, protect the instrument because it's calibrated. You can let it go a long way. I got it. Thanks, Phil. We're doing an inspection of the regulating outlet, which is inside of that tower right behind us. So what we're looking for when we inspect the dam is for really a change in condition. So does this look out of the ordinary? Does this look different from the last time we were here? Any major cracking uh, in the concrete or the embankment? or the steel structures. We, we're looking for signs uh, in, the, in the regulating outlet here. We're looking for any signs of cavitation damage. Is there a design flaw that um, is causing some unsatisfactory performance? Is, is there corrosion in the steel that, that might lead to a problem in the future? We take our job very seriously and always vigilant to, to make sure we're doing everything in our power to make sure that uh, everything is operating as intended, both in the day-to-day -day condition and in some really extreme events that we could see in the future.